Do you want your intimacy and desire to grow? Do you want a better time in the bedroom? I'll show you how right after the showreel. <laughs> you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> okay, so step one, increase non-sexual intimacy. Men, women, there's so many types of intimacy, emotional, intellectual, spiritual, along with physical. And the longer you've been in a relationship, more often, the more of those types of intimacy you need. Men, women don't wanna feel like a piece of meat. You can't just touch them when you want sex, but you can snuggle with them, touch them, make them know that they're wanted. But women, let me tell you a trick too, is we often don't tell the men in our lives what we need. You might say, hey, I kinda wanna cuddle, but instead of saying I wanna cuddle, you say like, hey, let's sit down and watch some television together. Let's watch a movie together. But you don't communicate like you want snuggles, you want your hand held, or you want your feet rubbed. And maybe you'll try to imply it, but we don't say it clearly. So women, speak clearly about what you need to feel loved, important, and appreciated so you feel more physically intimate and desirous. And men, do your best to do the same, right? We don't often know, like we can read men a little bit better, I think, than men can read women because of our natural intuition and our ability, but we also make up stories about what we think you want. We make up stories about how you might only want sex or you only want this or you only want that. So also help by communicating back with us, right? It's a two-way street, all communication, but increase non-sexual intimacy and that will also increase your desire and your ability to have sexual intimacy because that bonding happens and then sex actually increases that bonding which then allows for the rest of it to naturally go, right? Number two, don't interpret each other's words, right? Know your partner's love language. In other words, do they like touch? Do they like having things done for them? Do they like gifts? Do they like time? What makes them feel important and special? And help them with that. Don't make up stories in your head. When you find yourself making up a story in your head about what your partner has or hasn't done or what they might need or what they might not need, clarify that and start creating. Create together, create date nights, create specific times that you know you wanna spend even a couple minutes looking in each other's eyes. I mean, you wanna increase intimacy fast, sit down with your partner and just eye gaze, look in each other's eyes directly for like 30 or 40 seconds without saying a word. It can be very intense. It can be emotionally uncomfortable actually sometimes, but it can really increase intimacy, right? The eyes are the windows to the soul. So can you do that with your partner? Play with it. Be playful about it. Notice what's coming up for you. Ask them what's coming up for them. And maybe you can make that become something even more powerful and even more positive and let it flow into something more touch oriented. <clears throat> maybe you actually get to do something fun like look for a Tantra class, try partner yoga, try something that you two have to do together in order to find more playfulness, more fun, more connection. So you may have to go outside of the house to do that, but make an effort to do these things for each other and with each other to really build that intimacy on all levels in a way that feels authentic, genuine, and makes you want to want your partner even more. And number three, you gotta heal your body issues and your insecurity. Listen, sometimes we get afraid about how we smell, how we look, uh, what does our partner think of us? Listen to this, even fruit bats have oral sex, right? So taking it to that level. <laughs> how do you want to connect with your partner? And if you're worried about how you feel or how you look or how you smell, that's going to impact your level of libido. That's going to impact your desire. That's going to impact what you want to do with your partner. So there are classes, Path to Passion classes. On my Touch Remedies site, I've got tapping videos to help you through that. Emotional freedom techniques, journal, let go. Take an aerobics class, do what you need to do to like feel good in your body, dress up nice, put on scented things. Make sure that you feel special within yourself and heal those mental things that tell you you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not beautiful enough. And instead own your power, own your beauty, own your individuality. Because guess what? If your partner loves you, they're gonna love it. They are gonna love it when you come at them with confidence, with choice. Maybe you take charge. Maybe that's a scary thing. Maybe you take charge for once in the night if you've not done it before. Maybe you plan something extraordinary when your partner normally plans. So switch it up. 
They'll love it. And above all, remember that you're love, you're loving, and you are lovable. Put down in the comments. I'd like to hear how do you increase intimacy in your relationship? And what comes first for you? Physical intimacy, emotional intimacy, blah, spiritual intimacy. <laughs> Can't even say the word anymore. All right, I'm out. Take care.